I'm Myra Callen. I'm with Twix and Honey. I'm the designer and founder, and we're based in Salem, Oregon. Um, it has to be the silk tool. I love the drape. It's so fine. It's so sheer. Um, it's really, really luxurious, and it just hangs beautifully. Um, it really complements brides a lot better than I, I think, personally, nylon tool. Um, so yeah, silk tool is definitely my favorite. Um, you know, I, I have to be a good business person. I have to be aware of what's going on with trends and competition. Um, I definitely keep that in mind when I'm building and designing my new collections. But also, I also don't like to be channeled into what is currently trendy. Um, I think it stifles design and creativity. So I definitely um, use the bulk of my inspiration with what I personally feel. I like that season. Um, what I'm seeing will be the trend of the future. And then I then supplement that with what's going on with competition, with uh, what else is going on with the market. So it's a little bit of both. You know, we've had amazing success with social media and word of mouth and since we started on Etsy online um, we didn't ever pay for marketing for the first couple years of being in business and it was really having really excellent customer service really paying attention to our brides and knowing what they wanted and then they would then spread the word the good word to their friends their bridesmaids their family um, they would blog about us uh, wedding blogs would blog about us and that really I think had stood the brand uh, to the next level and it wasn't until after that that we started paying for ad spots on blogs um, but pretty much word of mouth I think is one of the best best lines of marketing for our particular brand you know I think that southern brides tend to be very very fashion forward with a touch of traditional um, I think that we've had a lot of success in the south just because our vibe is very relaxed bohemian um, a lot of the Southern brides are younger, um, and the younger brides are definitely fashion forward. They're not afraid to do whimsical halos, um, go with gold, go with colored dresses. But um, yeah, yeah, our, our brand just tends to line up with the Southern brides very, very well. Um, yeah, it's been great. Oh, geez. Um, in terms of our hobbies, interests, <laughs> besides my husband, which I do everything with, um, I used to be very, very crafty. My hobby used to be making things and being artistic, but after starting the business since every day, all day, I'm thinking creativity, um, design. I have to do something completely different. So we're very outdoorsy. Um, we do a lot of sports and activities. We like going camping, hiking, fishing. Um, we go go-kart racing all the time. Um, and it has to be basically like completely different than what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. So um, it, it sounds funny and counterintuitive, but it works really well so that we can actually get a break from doing the same thing every single day. Oh, wow. Um, you know, I don't know if there's an actual exact moment. Um, I really love getting photos back from brides. Like every single bride that we work with is special, of course. Um, I love seeing the final result because we can get kind of lost in our studio. Um, working on the computer, sending emails every day, shipping, and then um, it's not until like the bride sends a photo and they send this beautiful um, appreciative note to us uh, that it all comes together and every single time I get a photo and I see the end result and I see how, how happy the bride is. I don't even remember that we like sent them a piece. Um, so that brings me a lot of satisfaction and joy. Um, more business wise, it's been really great to see the brand grow and change and evolve over the years. Um, we're probably in over a hundred different locations right now. We've been in close to 200 publications and we've worked with a lot of celebrities. And that's been really, really great for us and very, very rewarding. But it's ultimately it's about the bride and their joy and happiness during their day is what really makes it all worth it. Uh, I have to say Labyrinth. <laughs> so when I was, what, four or three years old, something like that when it came out, um, I was all about the fairy princess and the mysticism and castles and fairies and um, Jennifer Connelly is like my ultimate inspiration. She's like the big sister that was cooler than everybody else's big sister. I have an older sister, but uh, but no, her and I, my sister and I both had like girl crushes on Jennifer Connelly and her fashion in that movie was awesome. So I'm constantly like, thinking about it. It's kind of, it sounds a little wacko, but no, I still love that movie. Yeah. Um, hmm, you know what? It's funny. So I can't. I can't even think. Like, caught me on the spot. Um, 
tough. What do you think, honey? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that song from Real Genius. Oh, jeez. It's like a really tacky 80s song from a band that like never went anywhere. Um, and it's basically just about like being number one and like working really, really hard to just keep on doing better and being the best at what you can be. So I can't even remember the title. It's like something like number one or something. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. <laughs>